final. Now we've been through the heats, the semis, and now it's time for the grand final as we watch the South battle it out against the North for the overall national championship. This is the final. So for the last time, let me just remind you what those fantastic prizes are. For the runners up, a holiday of a lifetime in South Africa's Sun City. Plus £1,000 spending money. And for the winners, £1,000 as well, plus one of these fantastic four-wheel drive, off-the-road family vehicles. Wow. We are being very generous. We certainly are, Fash. We're in a very generous mood indeed. In fact, everybody here in the audience tonight has paid £5 a ticket. And the money that we've generated from that is going to be donated to a local Birmingham charity, which is the NCH Action for Children. So thank you very much, all of you, for your kind generosity. I think it's time we get on with this grand final. Let's meet our southern female champion, Andrea Worry. And our northern finalist, Sarah Dam. Sarah Dam defeated Michelle Kimberley in the Northern final and held the fastest eliminator record with a time of 1 minute 16.3 until Andrea Worry smashed it last week, posting a time of 1 minute 15.2 as she beat Celia Duffield in the Southern final. by your progress, watching your progress throughout the shows, mainly because every time Andrea wins, we go back to hospitality and she has a fabulous little niece who's about four months old called Taylor, and I hope she's here tonight. Oh, yeah, she's sat in the front row, just there with my sister. I should imagine she's your biggest fan. <laughs> and she's absolutely gorgeous. Now, tell us, how are you feeling? Did you ever think you were going to get to this stage? Before I came here, I did, and then I met all the contenders, and I must admit, I had quite a few doubts, so I'm thrilled. Now, you're up against Sarah, a very, very uh, good contender as well, of course, and our northern champion. How do you feel about her? Well, we're pretty much the same height and build, so I think it's going to be a really close final. Well, let's hope for that. Let's, we'll be looking out for you. Best of luck to you. Andrea Worry. <laughs> OK, Sarah, you're here at long last. First, how do you feel? I mean, this is the final. Uh, I feel excited. I feel I'm, I'm dead nervous. Um, I'm just just want to get it over and done with. Like, just want to get it done now. Did you ever think that you would actually get through to the finals? Uh, yeah, went through the first years, had an easy way through. Um, it's not going to be easy for the final now. Andrea's a good contender. It's going to make it hard work for me, but I know I'm going to get through, and I want that car badly. I'm on a mission. Great stuff. Off you go. Get ready for the first event. Let's do it for Sarah. Meet the guys, our male southern champion, Mark Mottram. And our northern champion, Buster Reeves. Come on, guys. Buster Reeves beat Andrew Farrell in the northern final and held the men's eliminator record of 1 minute 9 dead. But it was broken by Mark Mottram, who put in a time of 1 minute 6.9 in his semi-final and went on to shatter his own personal best in the southern final against Freddie McGovern last week with a new record time of 1 minute 6.1. Grown since I saw you last, or maybe I've shrunk. <laughs> How have you been feeling? How have you been mentally preparing yourself for the grand final, Mark? Uh, well, just resting, recouping, getting the muscles back into shape, and uh, hopefully I'll be fine for the rest of the show. Now tell me, have you had much contact with Buster? I mean, or have you been trying to keep yourself to yourself? Not too much, obviously, because he's, he's, he's up in the north, I'm in the south, we get broken up when we have to do the trials and stuff like that, so I haven't had too much contact with him. But, um, I've heard through the grapevine what he's like, I've seen what he can do and that sort of thing, so it's going to be a tough show, but... Well, we'll see how you get on. Let's hear it from Mark Mottram. OK, Buster, you're finally here. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good, I'm ready to go. Um, let's just hope I can do the business. Now, I understand you had another important engagement today, which you cancelled to be here. That's right, yeah, my uh, best friend and teacher who trains me martial arts is getting married today. I'm supposed to be best man, but... He's understood that I have to be down here. And is he here, or has he said, no, the marriage is more important? Oh, <laughs> well, his wife's good-looking, so I think the marriage is more important. And how do you think you're going to do tonight? I'm going to do my best. Let's just see how the night goes. Off you go, Buster. Get yourself ready. Thank you, guys. Buster Reed.
What a great bunch of champions. Well, the girls are ready for their first event, so let the grand final begin. Event number one. Suspended upside down above the arena floor, it's Sarah and Andrea. And they're going to be chased by lightning and laser. Over to John Anderson. Contender. The 1996 grand final of Gladiators gets underway. Andrea screaming into the lead. Laser chasing her. Lightning after Sarah. An explosive action from Lightning. Blast Sarah from the points. That leaves Andrea with a clear run for 10 points. No sign of Laser, though. Sarah's screaming smoke behind her, still running for the fun of it. The final crossover. Andrea only has to keep going to score the maximum. The stained glass window designer in the frame for a win. Andrea takes the corner with ease. Fortunately, there's no threat from the Gladiator. She clocks up 10 points. Sarah was struck out in double quick time by Lightning, and Andrea loses her Gladiator laser, crosses over first, and poaches the points. Andrea's chase Gladiator laser suffered a serious mechanical malfunction when her knee pad stuck in her harness. Happens to me all the time. Well, after that cracking start, let's see the scores. Southern champion Andrea has 10, northern champ Sarah, nil. Chased by Trojan and Buster in blue, followed by Cobra. And the Glads are going to have their work cut out here. The contenders almost neck and neck. Mark with a terrible corner. Loses his traction completely, and Buster becomes front runner. Buster Reeves leads, and Mark's going to have to settle for second best. Trojan trying to catch him, but it's Buster's checkered flag. Undefeated on Skytrack. Three runs, three wins. Mark crosses in second place to claim the remaining five points. The Reeves family roar their approval. was the second Ben Blues for Mark. Lost his grip on the track along with any hope he had of slotting 10 points onto the scoreboard. Had just enough to keep Trojan out of firing range. After one event, Mark starts with five and Buster opens his account with 10. And using the blue ball is Sarah! And on the red is Andre! Baskets are our gladiators, Panther, Rebel, and Rio! The Queens of Carnage. Well, this afternoon, Southern champion Andrea told me what it's like to be a winner. I'd imagine winning the, the Southern final was quite amazing because it was such a close finish, and I was, and the whole next day was dumbstruck, and I woke up at six in the morning and was just staring at the trophy in disbelief. Andrea interaction against Panther. Oh, two points. This West Country winner piling on the points. Reload, sandwiched by the two R's. Sarah against Panther. Sarah wins it, scores two. Andrea reloads. Panther's on the prowl. Oh, but Andrea with a simple carbon copy of her previous score. Panther found wanting. Another pick up. Oh, another run and another basket. She's running them ragged. Sarah back in the fray. Panther finally gets her act together, but the ref's blown up for some reason. And it looks like Rio's headgear. Andy Norgate keen to oblige. Well, this is how it happened. Sarah looking sharp to pot of blue. Rio kept her head, but not her helmet. The ref will give us the time left. Tally. There are 36 seconds remaining. Told you. Three, two, one. Andrea with six on the scoreboard. Oh, can't add to it on this run. Panther pile drives her into the pitch, and Sarah also unloading. Back for a blue, headlong into Panther, foiled by the feline. Sneaky stuff from Sarah, but that won't count. The rules are quite clear. Andrea back for a ball, facing Panther. Oh, and she's so quick, the cat can't catch her. Completely outmaneuvered. 8-2 to Andrea. There's no stopping her. Well, not with these gladiators anyway. Back again against Rio. Surrenders the ball. Good tactics. Why risk injury with this kind of lead? 
time running down. Andrea only ever scored two powerful points her entire gladiator career, and now she slams home eight in one 60-second session. Sarah disappointed. Her mum, Pauline, and brother Andrew full of encouragement. Andrea, well done. It doesn't get any easier. That's so much better. The last two times I've played this game, I've done terribly. I must admit, you looked a lot more comfortable. No time lucky. We'll find out what your score is in a minute. Sarah, how did you find that? It looked tough. Yeah, it was hard. I had two of mommy most of the time. But it's early days yet. There's only two games. A lot more time to score some points. John Anderson, give us some points, please. Sarah scored two points. Sarah, two points. Andrea, eight points. Andrea, eight points. What on goal. The celebrations are starting early in the Southern camp. Phil Norman, Andrea's coach, has schooled her well. Eunice Hutthart consoling Sarah there. After only two events, Andrea has an incredible 18 points, while Sarah has two. OK, you've seen the ladies. Now, let's see the men. And psyching himself up, using the blue balls, is Buster! Boys are back in town, enough to make a contender frown. Over to John Anderson. Contenders ready! Contenders ready! Three, two, one! Let's play ball, Buster versus Rhino, 2 0. Mark dispossessed. Reloads, Rhino stands his ground and grounds his man, chews him up and spits him out. Mark back to square one. Mark against Saracen, drops his ball. Buster doubled down by Rhino and Hunter. And Mark back for another ball and another brawl. Rhino again says, come on down. Buster, Saracen's there, can't get a handle. Buster's free, oh, but Hunter finishes the job. Mark's loose, acres of space. Oh, great recovery by Rhino. Rhino packing in the tackles down there. Buster again. Hunter and Saracen get it sorted, and Hunter stops Mark. The Gladiators are dominating the pitch with consummate ease. Mark. Oh, tries a slammer, can't dunk it. Buster with speed, Rhino with a fly to deflect him, and Rhino, the man of the match for me, tackled and shackled the contenders tonight. Buster, but time's gonna beat him to another basket, pulsating powerful, fast and furious action, with the Gladiators grabbing the glory. Buster's grandma, Peggy, in the centre, and Terry is dead on the right. After two events, Mark stays on five, and Buster moves to 12. Before all my sins, I'm now joined by the coach of the Northern team and the coach of the Southern team, Eunice and Phil. And it's very, very exciting now. You've been following everybody right through the heats and through the semis and through the regional finals, and now we're in the grand final. Things are very, very tense. You've been giving them a great deal of support. Yeah, that's true. Uh, uh, we've been working together all the way up till now because we're going against the Gladius, but now it's Eunice and I who are going to lock horns together. And she's already started the dirty trick, sending room service around at 7 o'clock in the morning to get me up this morning and what have you. Eunice, hot hard. <laughs> I thought you were a clean player. <laughs> Well, you know, we tell you everything, you know, being, being from the north and that, but at the end of the day, all the contenders here today, they're, they're all champions, and um, the British just what the north. I've got you and us behind us, so we're going to do it. Well, who knows? That may be a good thing or it may be a bad thing. Very briefly, Phil, how do you fancy your chances tonight? Oh, the South are going to come through, without doubt. It's quality. The South are going to come through. You know, so you to say about that? Briefly. <laughs> I didn't even know what he said because it was so quiet and meek, you know, like the South Far South. No! <laughs> well, I think you'll probably both agree that this was two fantastic games of Powerball, and of course we've got more action coming up, so join us after the break here for more action on Gladiators! with event number three. First up, it's Andrea. And she's going to be facing Vogue. 
Over to John Anderson. Set the pendulum. Doesn't anyone know the words to this yet? Three, two, one. With the score standing at 18 2 in her favour, Andrea will be looking to consolidate that lead still further. In her area final, she scored five against Lightning by evading capture for 40 seconds. But she'll do well to vanish because here comes Vogue. Andrea decides to go low, and you can't be sent off for descent in this event. Andrea struggling, her supporters can hardly bear to look. The voluptuous Vogue, vigorous as ever, lowering herself into the vortex, created by the pendulum's powerful swing. Andrea fighting to maintain her grip, looking vulnerable as Vogue, like a vulture, descends into the void. Andrea's mum, Trisha, wants to know how long to go. She's going to be safe for five points, but the vehement Vogue's on the verge of victory. Andrea vanquished by Vogue. Let's verify Vogue's valediction of Andrea. Lowers herself carefully into position, makes no mistake and accepts the flag of surrender. Next up on the pendulum, it's Sarah. And she's going to be swinging it out against Falcon. Earlier today, Sarah was in a confident mood. It's not going to be an easy show for me. She's going to push me, it's going to be hard but I'm going to get through to the end, and I know I'm going to win. Three, two, one! Sarah Dam, the Northern champion on previous pendulums. She scored 10 against Laser, she scored 10 against Lightning, and now she's looking to score 10 against Falcon. Her mum, Pauline, there with brother Simon. Sarah adopting the tactic that hasn't failed her in two previous outings. Stay down and keep low. A yellow flag flapping in the breeze. Falcon getting down to work, the pendulum swinging back and forth like a hypnotist watch, and I think it might have sent Sarah to sleep. Oh, a fan displaying her pendulum-shaped earrings there. Falcon nearly on terms with Sarah. Sarah only prepared to do just enough to keep Falcon at bay, but she's coming up on five points. Falcon within striking distance, but struggling to overcome the swing. Sarah busy doing nothing. Pauline and Simon on the edges of their seats with excitement. Falcon needs to be deliberate and certain with every move. Any mistake will find her sucked from the sphere. But it looks as though Sarah's going to pull the 10. And John Anderson hoots his honker to mercifully draw a veil over that. Sarah's mum in the dress there, flanked by her two sons. And after three events in this grand gladiator final, Andrea moves on to 23 and Sarah slides to 12. For the record, let's stat these guys up. The Dog of War, he stands an impressive 183, weighs 95 kilos and thrusts out a 122 chest. Mark the Plumber and Wannabe Stuntman stands 2 centimetres taller but weighs 12 kilos lighter with a 100 centimetre expanded chest. Mark, the Southern Champion, has shown a dramatic improvement in his pendulum performances. He was convincingly flagged down by Ace in his semi to score zero, but came back in the Southern final to hang on for ten against superb Saracen. But the Wolf is a whole new kettle of ball games. He's got the scent of success in those nostrils, and Mark scampering to his right, trying to keep the Wolf at bay. Mark at the North Pole, next to the mechanism. Mum Tricia struggling to stay calm. Mark, a superb entertainer, giving the crowd a chase to cheer and the Wolf a run for his money. Mark looking for the Wolf. Oh, there he is. His brothers Adam and Jason there. Whatever that gesture means, I don't think you can see it from up there. Mark pulls his five and Wolf nearly pulls his flag. Mark stares at defeat, but as far as Wolf's concerned, defeat is something you have to have at the end of the legs. Mark using this pendulum like a mulberry bush. Incredibly exciting stuff from the Chingford champion nearly the minutes and Mark's going to win it. Fearless pendulum from Mark, 10 points there. Adam and Jason euphoric at that victory. And so are Trisha and Nadine. Well, Wolf did well to stay on terms. He was never found flagging but couldn't get to snatch the standard.
The hitman's high and mighty tape-wise. He's 1 meter 90 tall, scales in at 106, and chest out, he's 127. The world champion kickboxer enters a set of enviable stats, but he's down 8 centimeters in the height department and 27 kilos lacking weight-wise. Buster Reeves has enjoyed one previous pendulum outing, but also has sustained a convincing defeat from his current foe, Hunter. And this looks like a repeat performance. Hunter looking for a fast finish. Buster responds by crabbing right. Oh, it's all too much for his mum, Francis. Hunter can circumnavigate the sphere in seconds. Buster battling, keeping him at arm's length. But Hunter looms large like a relentless grim reaper, casting a shadow of despair over his valiant victim. Buster hanging by his fingernails. Louisa screaming at him to respond. But the haunting presence of Hunter is predominant. It looks like curtains for the contender. And the flag for the gladiator. Buster with a spectacular dismount from the pendulum. His nearest and dearest look concerned, but their fears are unfounded. This guy is the best in the world at what he does. Let's watch Hunter's perfectly executed finale. While Buster struggled for a grip on the net, Hunter was there for a rip off the back. After three events, Mark swings into the front, 15 points to 12. And first up is Andrea! And she's going to be swinging against the beautiful Humbo! The hang-tough heroine. Everyone wants to give her a ring. And in this event, she's got 200 to choose from. Stands a stunning 167 tall and a sensational 63 kilos. Andrea is our southern belle, the queen of the West Country. She's three centimetres taller, but three kilos lighter. A glazed expression from our stained glass window designer. Here's the reason. Vogue swings to secure another hang-tough skull. Andrea, a diamond contender, plenty of sparkle, but deceptively hard. Toughed it out against Falcon in a semi, but failed to score in her southern final. Andrea seems to go from ring to ring with a minimum of swing. Vogue, with a flash of brilliance, spots the danger and begins her intercepting traverse. Andrea in the scoring zone, but Vogue's also in the vicinity. Vogue computing her takedown scenario. Rui Hay, legs lock up, hitches a lift and gets to work. Andrea with superb strength, those fingers supporting a combined weight of 123 kilos. Vogue wrapping up everything except this event. Hello, that belt looks to be holding up more than just Vogue at the moment. The clock is going down, but Andrea isn't. She deserves five for this performance. And Vogue's got nothing else up her sleeve. Andrea definitely the star of this gripping drama. Look at that tremendous strength. Nothing can chip. Oh, she's got a disaster for Andrea. 2.7 seconds left on the clock. Desperate misfortune, but another one bites the dust because of the Vogue. Andrea, so unlucky. You had three seconds left. Oh, no. My hands were just itching around like that. And you look so comfortable up there as well. Yeah, I thought I had it going again, but they come back at you so quickly. I don't know how they change direction, just like so fast. Three seconds away. Vogue, she did well. Did she won those points? I think so. <laughs> um, she had ten and a half stones sort of hanging off her there, so her arms must be uh, incredibly strong or incredibly sore right now. Well done. It's here for the girls, Andrea and Vogue. Well done, girls. Those arms are strong, sore, and two inches longer. Up the hang top is Sarah, and she's going to be facing the lightning. Four. Oh, try doing that after a plate of jelly deals. A heroine's reception for the striking figure of lightning. The metricated number cruncher puts her height at 170 and her weight at 58 kilos. Sarah's stats show she's the same height, but has a considerable four kilos weight advantage. Lightning swings into action. With that kind of grace, contenders don't often have a prayer. But our super fit sports lecturer has a good chance here. She can use those four extra kilos to her advantage. Lightning on her case already. Sarah defends well, but needs to move. Lightning again on the back swing gets a ring. Neat move by Lightning. This is where Sarah can display her superior strength. Lightning tussling for the takedown. Lightning on the belt. Sarah hanging tough. 
Oh, and lightning down with more than a little help from Sarah's feet, I'd have thought. And lightning protesting, but if the referee didn't see it, she certainly felt it. All Sarah's got to do is swing into the scoring zone to claim her five points and then onto the lightning platform to clock up ten. Sarah gets five with plenty of time for the maximum, but she's going to have to go quicker than that for the other five. Only a couple of rings from the platform, but a lack of urgency indicates she's going to settle for five. But those points enough to get her right back into this Gladiators final. There's the ref's enormous hooter. Well, looking at that incident again, Lightning pulls a skillful round-the-houses manoeuvre, wraps Sarah up in the dreaded executioner's embrace, and I'll leave you to judge for yourselves if it was a kick which shifted Lightning. After four events, Andrea stays on 23, and Sarah closes the gap with 17. Straight into the men's event, and first up to swing is Mark! swinging against yes there's only one a Saraso. yes there's only one and thank goodness for that there wouldn't be enough food in the canteen to feed two of him our real life action hero has more than proved himself over five seasons these fantastic figures confirm that saracen is three centimeters shorter than mark but has a 25 kilo weight advantage Saracen swings out, knowing that in their last hand tough encounter, Mark scored five at his expense. Saracen reaches the centre in two deep swings, but Mark storming down the left wing. Saracen needs to respond fast here. Mark's mind clearly set on ten points. Mark's lost his momentum, albeit momentarily. Saracen almost back to where he started. Impressive, aggressive opening from Mark but needs to get it going again. Saracen defending his territory well, and Mark totally becalmed. Saracen moving in, can't lock him up. Mark deserves a result here for that explosive start, but Saracen determined to deny him the points. Mark desperately trying to get some swing into his rings. He's a sitting duck. Saracen there again, and this time it's for real. Mark embraces his final destiny. Saracen force feeds him a face full of mass. And this crowd would quite be at home doing their knitting round a guillotine. In the replay, we can see Saracen stretches his legs out, snaps them shut on Mark, and brings that 25 kilo advantage into play without mercy. And the last of our now contenders, the swing is Buster! And he's going to be swinging against the man we love to hate, the Wolfman! The wily Wolfman looking to dazzle Buster with those brilliant teeth. Earlier, Buster told me about a hairy incident which occurred after their previous encounter. Landed off a hang tough, finished my interview. Uh, Wolf went walking round and he's with his face. I was talking to Eunice, she was giving me encouragement for the eliminator. And then all of a sudden I heard this big ruckus over my left shoulder. I looked round, I think 250 fans were all jumping on Wolf. As much as I disliked the guy, I had to go, <laughs> had to go over and rescue him. Uh, he come out with his shirt raped, my brother come out with his shirt raped, I thought, oh, no. Anyway, nobody got injured, which I'm glad about. And Buster's grandma, Peggy, conducting the community singing there. <laughs> After that excellent chorus, let's now listen to the dulcet tones of our referee. Wolfie sets off to work, looking to outfox Buster, who snatched five points from right under his snout in their last hang tough. Wolf hits the centre, Buster coming wide, Wolf responds, backtracking and covering that wing. Buster at full stretch, oh, nearly cops one of the chops from a swinging ring. He's in the scoring zone and on the blind side of Wolf. Buster deep into the Wolf's territory now, superb swinging, and the Wolf out of position now. Buster. Can see the platform. Oh, he's there for ten. No, he's not. Dragged away and straight into the wall. Oh no, he's got him. Incredible hang tough action. Buster's mum, Francis, chewing the rail in frustration. The ten points were in his grasp and then slipped away. The entire crowd applaud that terrific performance by Buster Reeves. What a final this is turning out to be. Buster, Buster, great display. He just got you at the end. Unlucky. My foot on the platform, I couldn't believe it. My toe touched. I'm like, oh, 
A bit more swing, a bit more... Somebody push me, please. Could you let go and just jump a little bit extra? No, there were not. The balance were well off. I was stretching as it is, but my foot were just touching. And did you know how close the Wolfman was to you? I could smell him, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, that's not nice. Wolfman, great display. This has happened lots of times in Gladiators. People think they've gone past us, but for every swing forward, they have to come back. So I was just sitting there waiting for him. Well, Buster, did you think you could do it? Uh, yeah, it should be in pantomime, you know. Every, I could hear everyone going, he's behind you, he's behind you. <laughs> well, let's hear from Buster, and well done, the Wolfman. Well done, guys. Things are hotting up now, but scores remain the same. 15 to 12 after four events. Said, and Andrea taking the full force of Rio's fury on the face guard. Her helmet may rattle, but she's come to do battle. Andrea soaking up the best that Rio can throw at her. A superb example of sheer dogged defiance by Andrea. It would be easy to bail out, but that's not in this girl's nature. Rio swinging left and right. Andrea getting a pillar to post pasting. Oh, she cocks one right on the hooter. Right on the hooter. Well, she's still on the platform at the time up. Her family thinks so. Now they're not sure. Let's check the tape. Andrea incredibly brave to withstand such a barrage. Here it comes now. Gosh, eat that. She staggers back, and yes, her feet clearly still on the platform when the clock hits zero. As you can see from that, it's a very, very close call. We've had timekeepers, referees, producers and directors looking back at this. And the result is... You picked up five points! A real result that for Andrea, and Rio the first to congratulate her. This contender never ceases to impress the crowd. Trisha and John there delighted with that. Next up on the duel, it's Sarah! And she's going to be facing Laser! Over to John Anderson. Contender! Lecturer in sports science, a real tough cookie, and Laser's gonna have to work hard to shift her. Oh, no, she's not. Sarah swiped from the platform in five seconds. Explosive action from Laser. Brother Simon, not as cheerful as his mum. Laser swings with a couple, fails to make contact, but plonks her a corker with the backhand and gives her a faceful on the way down as well. Eat that. After five events in the 1996 Gladiator final, Andrea clocks up 28 points to Sarah's 17. Well, earlier, Mark told me more about last week's eventful Southern final. In my last show, I was against Freddie McGovern and John Anderson, I think. Um, in one of my games, Pendulum, I got a bit, bit of a telling off for jumping up, jumping off too high. And another game, uh, Powerball, I got a telling off for putting the ball in the gladiators' faces. And um, in Gauntlet, I pounded through right to the end, and Wolf was at the end, and I hit him hard, and he went back, and then he turned round at me, and I turned round, and he ran at me again. So I ducked and we had a bit of a scrap on the floor. It was only a joke, as most of these things are. And I think John took it a bit as it was serious. I think uh, I got more challenges off than uh, Wolf in that, go that game, actually. Well, at least he can take it out on Rhino now. Rhino doing his Escarante impression. It's 10 for a win, 5 for staying the distance. Oh, and Rhino lets a giant one go. Followed through with a double-headed combination. Mark tries to respond, letting fly with both ends. Rhino relentless, lefts and rights coming at all angles. Mark takes a licking, but keeps on sticking. 
Oh, and Mark doubles over, but keeps his balance. And Rhino with the full force of his body weight behind those blows, but he can't sink the plumber. He wonders what he's got to do to flush him out. Mark defending for all he's worth, but the Rhino couldn't shift him. Well, Mark's gone the distance for five. A rattling good performance from Mark Mottram. The crowd are pleased with that. Not as pleased as Mark. Rhino's out of there. Watch out below. Looking at the action again, Rhino keeps sticking them in, but Mark shimmies and shammies with a window full of dummies, then wraps it in a solid shot to the leg. Super him with a very good challenge indeed. Yeah, it was good. I couldn't believe I stayed on, actually. I didn't expect it. It was good. Well, I mean, I didn't expect it, Rhino. I thought you were going to take no prisoners. Well, I was trying not to. He's done very well. Very dodgy. And he took a lot of good licks. Well done. He certainly did. Let's just bring John Anderson in. He has something to say about the event. John? Yes, uh, it's uh, not good news. Uh, the situation is, in this particular contest, you must attack. And in this case, Mark, in my opinion, did not attack. Mark is disqualified. <laughs> Well, the decision poses some questions while Rhino just poses. Rhino piles in with a relentless onslaught and Mark does struggle to find a gap to which to return fire. But don't write to me, I'm just the commentator. Last up on tour, it's Buster. And he's going to be facing Ace. Over to John Anderson. to respond Buster's record on duel drawn one and lost one and it's swing time up on the dueling platforms Buster one-handed fences ace away Buster recovers it's going to be survival of the fittest takes a smacking but keeps on whacking Buster one-handed again ace jabbing but has Buster gone keeps his balance brilliantly the ace can't put him away and Buster back into the fray if those jabs won't shift him nothing will this combat contest is going down to the wire. Nino giving any quarter, but it's going to be five points for Buster. There's the horn, and they're glad that's over. Congratulations all round. Well, Ace could taste victory when his jabs unbalanced Buster, but the world champion kickboxer limboed his way out of trouble, recovered and got back into it. Southern champion Marcus scored 15 points, while northern hero Buster has notched up 17. against the northern champion Sarah Dam, the lecturer in sports sciences right behind her. Sarah scrambling over the high and low hurdles, Andrea slips through the bungee maze with ease. Rope climb next. And Sarah not so smooth through the plastic elastic. Pauline and Andrew on their feet. Andrea on the hand ladder already. Good smooth action on the rungs, keeping her cool. Because here comes Sarah. Andrea touches down, there's nothing in the stained glass window designer's manual which prepares you for this eliminator course. Even so, she's coping well, but Sarah is closing the gap, both girls on the net and climbing. Andrea's sister Lisa there with her boyfriend Mark, Lisa can't bear it as Andrea makes the gantry. Sarah still on the net, Andrea to the zip line, hooks up for the adrenaline pumping slide ride to the crash mat. Splashes down, next is the graveyard, balance beam followed by the travelator. Sarah's down, Andrea's on the beam, superb, steady balance. 
Patricia and John know she's on the threshold. Here she comes for the championship. Yes, she's there. Tames the collaborator again. Southern champion Andrea Wally, the ladies' national champion of champions. And let's not forget the gallant runner-up, northern champion Sarah Dam. But it's celebration time. Coach Phil Norman steams in. And everyone's celebrating. Trisha and John, extraordinary scenes. You're very, very fast around the eliminator. Off you go, Sarah. Thank all your supporters and all your family who travel in such a long way to see you. Let's have for Sarah! And in addition to her check and trophy, Sarah wins that superb holiday in South Africa's Sun City. There's the champion with a new set of wheels, and that will be going back to the West Country. We'll be parting in Newquay tonight. Sarah with a mum, a few words of consolation. And Andrea with a hug for her boyfriend, Ian. Great picture for the family album there. But it doesn't look to be all sad news for Sarah. Although she couldn't claw back Andrea's five and a half second head start, she covered the course in a new record time of one minute 10.2. Sarah, I understand you must be very, very disappointed. It's been great to have you on the show. I come bringing some good news though that I hope will ease the pain of your disappointment. And that is, you had the fastest eliminator time. Yeah. One second. One minute and ten seconds. Here is a thousand pounds. Let's hear it for Sarah now. Well Great achievement, completing the course in record time. It gets a thumbs up from me as well. I love a happy ending. Next, it's the men's championship decider. Buster Reeves, representing the North, has his two-point lead converted into a one-second head start over the South's Mark Mottram. Buster's brothers are in fine voice. And Mark's family and friends equally vocal. Buster, you will go on my first whistle. Mark, you will go on my second whistle. Three. Well, as they used to say on Stingray, anything can happen in the next 60 seconds. Buster and Mark dispense with the formalities of the high and low hurdles and plunge into the depths of the bungee maze, driving hard and low. And I must warn you, this excitement is not for the faint-hearted. Together on the rope, Mark has pulled back that one-second lead and gets to the handbike first, spins the pedals into action. Louise is screaming for Buster, who will touch down first. It's Mark across the rollers. The cargo net takes no prisoners. Skill, stamina, strength and speed, this eliminator course demands them all by the bucket load. As Buster gets caught up on the net, incredible drama. Mark to the gantry first and the gap opens. Buster needs to dig deep now. The Reef boys can feel it slipping away, but it's not over until the paper burst is breached. Trisha and Nadine at the centre victory. Mark on the bounce, oh, a painful error, which could cost him dearly. Took his eye off the ball and paid the price. Buster with the splashdown. And Mark back on the beam, gearing up for the blast up the Travelator. Will it be a sudden clean sweep? in this grand final for the Gladiators Championship. Mark Mottram makes his finishing call. He is the 1996 National Champion of Champions. Another Southern victory as they celebrate the new champion from Chingford. Here comes Buster, world champion in his chosen sport, a superb contender on Gladiators and a great guy. Mum and Dad lead the acclaim. A great sportsman. Salutes the crowd and completes the eliminator. Thank you for taking that from me. A thousand pounds.
pounds. Thousand pounds. A fabulous vehicle. And by magic, I hold before me a red envelope, which must mean you have won the fastest eliminator time as well this season. You must feel amazing. It's, a, it's an unbelievable feeling to just to win when you never expect to come this far ever, ever. And to be here holding this and winning, it's just an amazing feeling. And I'm never, I never ever expected to win it, ever. Well, I would never have believed an eliminator time as fast as yours. 59 Woo! seconds. That's brilliant. I mean, what, what are you on? I can't believe it. It must have been, it must have been the crowd behind you throughout the night. The crowd. I'd just like to say thank you to all my supporters that have come to watch. My girlfriend, Nadine, has been brilliant all, all the way through the show, arranging coaches that break down and stuff like that and all that sort of thing. And to all the people that helped me train for it, because if I didn't do that training, I wouldn't be winning it now. So it's down to them as well as me. Thank you. Thank you, Mark Bottrum. Go and see your fans and go and pick up your car. <laughs> Take your trophy too. I'm lucky, Bottrum. You don't go away empty-handed. There's your gladiator running up trophy and your check for a thousand pounds. And of course, the fantastic holiday in Sun City. But tell us, at one stage you were neck and neck. Where do you think you lost it? Well, I don't think, John, I know. I lost it on the cargo net, my foot went through, and I don't think I found it again. But he was very fast. I mean, to have a record time like that obviously didn't help you much. No, the guy's a tremendous athlete. I'm not taking anything away from him. I give him my all, and it wasn't good enough on the day. I'm sorry about that, but... Well, you don't need to apologize for anybody. You've given them many people weeks and weeks of a lot of enjoyment here on Gladiators. Thank you, John. I've really enjoyed it myself. Great stuff. Go and say hello and thank you to all of your friends and family. Go on, Buster. Let's hear from Buster. Good spirits, great competition. That's what the ultimate challenge is all about. Northern coach Eunice Hutt-Hart with her personal consolation and Phil Norman, who guided the South to those victories. Mark Bottram braids his prizes. Buster Reeves leaps the barrier to thank his family. Another trophy for the cabinet. There's his dad, Terry, and Mum Francis. The Bottram supporters gave great support. Oh, and Nadine will give him a great hug. As we know, Mark won the fastest Eliminator prize by breaking the one-minute barrier. He trimmed seven seconds off the existing record. Well, Patch, it was an outright win for the South there. Two fabulous Eliminators to finish it off and some fabulous contenders we've seen this season. But, of course, there's no losers here on the Gladiators because they still remain the out-and-out -out champions of their particular region. Absolutely. Well, we'll be back to playing your screens before you know it, so join us for more action on Gladiators. A for safety reasons, do not attempt to recreate any of the events you have seen on Gladiators. Sundays just wouldn't be Sundays without a bit of bully, would they? Jim Bowen's here next with Bullseye. Then Barry McGuigan from Boxing and Barry from EastEnders. Sean Williamson are just two of the famous faces joining Bradley for the Chase Celebrity Special. That's at nine, new to challenge.